Good morning. Welcome back to the Daily Bible Chapter. It is Tuesday, May the 31st, the last day of May, 2022. And today we're reading 1 Samuel, Chapter 7. Then the men of kirjath Jerem came and took the ark of the Lord, and brought it into the house of Abinadab on the hill, and consecrated Eleazar his son to keep the ark of the Lord. So it was that the ark remained in kirjath Jerem a long time, it was there twenty years, and all the house of Israel lamented after the Lord. Then Samuel spoke to all the house of Israel, saying, If you return to the Lord with all your hearts, then put away the foreign gods and the Ashtoreths from among you, and prepare your hearts for the Lord, and serve him only, and he will deliver you from the hand of the Philistines. So the children of Israel put away the Baals and the Ashtoreths, and serve the Lord only. And Samuel said, Gather all Israel to Mizpah, and I will pray to the Lord for you. So they gathered together at Mizpah, drew water, and poured it out before the Lord. And they fasted that day, and said there, We have sinned against the Lord. And Samuel judged the children of Israel at Mizpah. Now when the Philistines heard that the children of Israel had gathered together at Mizpah, the lords of the lords of the Philistines went up against Israel, and when the children of Israel heard of it, they were afraid of the Philistines. So the children of Israel said to Samuel, Do not cease to cry out to the Lord our God for us, that he may save us from the hand of the Philistines. And Samuel took a suckling lamb and offered it as a whole burnt offering to the Lord. Then Samuel cried out to the Lord for Israel, and the Lord answered him, now as Samuel was offering up the burnt offering, the Philistines drew near to battle against Israel. But the Lord thundered with a loud thunder upon the Philistines that day, and so confused them that they were overcome before Israel. And the men of Israel went out of Mizpah and pursued the Philistines and drove them back as far as below beth -car. Then Samuel took a stone and set it up between Mizpah and Shin, and called its name Ebenezer, saying, Thus far the Lord has helped us. So the Philistines were subdued, and they did not come any more into the territory of Israel. And the hand of the Lord was against the Philistines all the days of Samuel. Then the cities which the Philistines had taken from Israel were restored to Israel, from Ekron to Gath, and Israel recovered its territory from the hands of the Philistines. Also there was peace between Israel and the Amorites. And Samuel judged Israel all the days of his life. He went from year to year on a circuit to Bethel, Gilgal, and Mizpah, and judged Israel in all those places. But he always returned to Ramah, for his home was there. There he judged Israel, and there he built an altar to the Lord. First Samuel chapter 7. As I was reading through here today, it it dawned on me and I don't don't know why this hasn't happened before um but this battle between sort of Israel and the Philistines like um you know later David and Goliath, Goliath I think if I remember correctly is a Philistine. So this battle is is an ongoing battle, and I don't know, you know, multi generations, and I don't know why that hasn't hit me before, but it just hit me today that like Israel and the Philistines have, yeah, I guess been at war forever. Um, so anyway, I, not that that's a super spiritual or deep, but that's what hit me as I was reading today that. This battle between Israel and Philistine is has been ongoing for a long time. So anyway, thank you for joining me today as we read through uh, 1 Samuel chapter 7. And I hope you'll join me tomorrow um, as we start June and, uh, and we read 1 Samuel chapter 8. Have a great day.